people and expect to be a carrier of the glory. I understand I have to operate in forgiveness. I have to operate in the fruit and not just the gifts. So I have to have love and gentleness and goodness. Oh God, I have to have long suffering. I understand something when I praise God and it causes me to be blessed. I tell you what, I see that my delight is greatly in his commandments because he told if I didn't let his commandments lead my eyes day and night, that I would make my way prosperous and I would have good success. I tell you what I see, that my seed shall be mighty upon the earth. I see that my seed will be upright. Oh my God, because of the covenant of God, and they'll be mighty in the earth, and my seed shall be blessed. So the unpredictability, the unpredictable things that God's releasing in my life for me, uh, but God is establishing generational wealth uh, and generational blessings. Uh, just as it is generational curses, uh, there is generational blessing. Uh, I'm going and I'm being transformed. Uh, in fact, when I accepted Christ, uh, He translated me uh, from the power of darkness uh, into the kingdom of His dear Son. Uh, I tell you what I see, uh, that wealth and riches uh, shall be in my house. Not only will I have wealth
the world don't know me. I see that I'm not going to be upset anymore by people who cannot properly discern who I am. It's not going to matter to me anymore now that I see what he says. Now that I see what he says, I understand that they didn't know him, so they certainly can't know me. And if they hated him, I can expect them to hate me. But because I'm living in a time of unpredictable expectation, they are saying, oh my God, he'll make them that hate me do good. Hey God. Oh God. What do you see? What do you see? What do you see? You know what I see? That beloved now, we are the sons of God. And while it does not yet appear, I'm going to preach it till ain't no breath in my body. Just every man knows that we've been adopted. That you are a son of God. You're not a servant in the kingdom, but you're a son. You're not a slave, but you're an heir. I'm going to preach it. When I can't talk, I'm going to write it. Beloved, now are we the sons of God? Why are you going to do that, preacher? Because I've been on the tower and I've seen a day when men are going to understand who they are in God. And it goes beyond your skin color. It goes beyond your socioeconomic position. Ah, oh, we understand your sonship. It transcends everything that's earthly and natural and base. And it moves you to a dimension that you operate like into the visible. I've been to the mountaintop. Oh my God. Hey, hey, hey. And I have a dream.